Hi, this is Sherry. I'm coming at you from Canyon Lake. It's incredible here. It's quite late here. Um, it's past 6.30, 7 o'clock. But it was like 111 degrees, which was kind of cool because I thought, oh, we should make a wish, right? 111. Um, so I came down to the lake quite late tonight and I'm trying to figure out how to do this because my boat keeps taking off and I'm tripping over the roots in the trees. <laughs> so um, I might go into the shallows, into the shade and do this. Let's see. It's super, super beautiful. It's interesting that the, the deck that we're working with today, um, yeah, I like it in here. Um, it's actually really appropriate because, and let's hope I don't drop my cards into the drink here. Please don't go anywhere. Um, the fairy oracle. And look at where we are. Does this not look like where fairies would hang out? Look at the little fairy cottage right there. And it's interesting because I have a friend, Glenn Bailey. Hi, Glenn on my page. I might be friends with some of you as well. Um, and he's built this beautiful fairy cottage. It's just gorgeous. And I thought, um, you know, my daughter and I just built a, um, both of us built little fairy gardens a little while ago. And you'll understand when you get the first message, what we're talking about, how this is so appropriate. Um, I just saw his cottage today and it was finished and it's beautiful. And I said, Ooh, you know, the full moon is coming and you should put an offering out for the fairies. Um, you know, people believe in angels. Well, Celtic people, I'm Welsh. Fairies are the angels to us. So did the same thing. Um, so put an offering out for a little place. I said, put a little silk, um, little softy, little little blanket in for the fairies to go in and lay down. You know, um, it's just, it's, it's, it's your intention. It's, it's your giving thanks for um, being supported by spirit and, and uh, that they're there for us. So the first card that we have got is the wishing well. And it's called Manifestation Expectations Offerings. And here you see this lady. She's a fairy and she's at the wishing well. Now the deal is, see all these gold coins? People keep throwing coins into the wishing well and they're asking, asking, asking all the time for wishes. And they expect the wishes to be fulfilled. So what they're saying is the ones that these wishes, these ones, the word expectation, the ones who are expecting their wishes fulfilled in a certain manner and in a certain time period often will find that their wishes are not fulfilled. But the ones who surrender and allow um, the wishes to come to them when they're meant to come will find that their wishes are being fulfilled. I'm going to let you guys look around. It's actually just incredible in here. So what's going on is, you know, the ones that are saying hurry up, you know, they're getting impatient. Um, they're saying they've got fixed ideas about how these wishes are supposed to be fulfilled, how they're going to come to them. They're going to have a really, real hard time getting their wishes fulfilled. It's going to take a while. Um, so what you want to do is she's going to pick the wishes to be fulfilled for the ones that are going to do the highest good for everyone concerned. So ones who come with an open heart and who are asking, you know, that's why you say when, when you're asking for something, um, whatever is in the highest good of all concern, this is what I wish for. If you, um, because whatever's in your highest good is what is, is what is good to ask for. Um, sometimes we think we want something and sometimes we think we should have something, but it isn't in our highest good. So there are things that you can do, cruising around, there's things that you can do to help your wishes come along, to help assist the fairies. Basically, one of them is don't say anything negative about your wishes. Don't say a harsh word about it to anyone. Keep it to yourself. Nurture it. Find out what steps you need in order to nurture your wishes. Spirit will give us guidance all the time about the things that we should be doing to bring the things that we want into our lives, into manifestation. So, one thing, don't say anything negative about it. Don't talk to anybody else about it in a negative way. If somebody says anything negative about something that, you've, that you have been asking for, cut cords, delete. I don't want to hear that. Take your attention away from that. That takes down the magic of your wishes. Um, face your fears that you have. Release them. You know, whatever fears you have around the wishes, look at them. Okay, here they are. Um, if there's any substance to them, you'll be shown. If not, release it. Allow it to go. Ask for your, for your fears to be released. Um, and become ready for the wish to be granted. What's interesting is oftentimes we'll ask for a wish and we think we want something, we think we're ready for it, but when it comes, we're not ready for it. We don't a lot of times know what we're ready for and what, what is gonna be required for our wishes to come to us. We don't know what's involved in the other side, right? We only know what we're thinking in our head. So it's best to trust spirit and know that everything is coming in divine timing um, and trust that they're gonna be fulfilled at the right time in the manner that they should be. That is a, is that a wasp or is it a bee? There's a message for that. I'm gonna to have to get a good look at it when it comes back again because there's two different messages for that insect. 
Um, and now what they're talking about is um, money. You know, you've, you've managed to master the, the ability, there I'll look around, the ability to make money. You've managed to um, effectively bring in prestige possibly into your life, standing, you know, status. Um, you've, you, you've gotten yourself to a place in your life where, where you feel that you should be. And yet, have you learned how to flow with it? Have you learned how to flow with, with the gifts that are coming to you? Have you learned how to share it properly? You're getting possibly caught up. Are you caught up in the materialism of it? Are you getting caught up in the, the acquiring of things, the acquiring of, of, of money, prestige, position, um, and forgetting your connection to spirit? You know, what are you creating with your prosperity? What, what are you doing with it? Are you just, do you just have money and you're playing? Are you doing anything that's helping the rest of the planet? Are you doing anything that is, um, that is, that is of, of high moral fiber? Um, what is it that you're doing with it? Ask yourself these questions and ask yourself what, what is that source would like you to do with the prosperity that's come to you? So those are the two different messages for that. I'm gonna now, where is my, oh, they're over here. <laughs> The next message, ooh, there's an ant. Remember, go to the ant, you lazy ones, talking about community effort, also talking about team spirit. Okay, so the Gossamer Princess, can you see this? It's talking about communication and relationship work needing to be done. Here you see this girl sitting here, and she's, she's a fairy, and she's got three butterflies, so there's transformation. Um, the number, I should have told you the other card's number, I'll look in a minute. This number is one, two, 12. Um, the number one, keep your thoughts positive, um, in order to bring their manifestations to the highest possible um, result. Two is everything is happening exactly as it's meant to, with divine blessings for everyone involved. Let go and have faith. Look at that, it looks like, I feel like when you watch them go by, it's like being at Disneyland watching these cruise ships. Go, um, you know how you're going in the small world? That's what I feel like when I'm in here. <laughs> but anyway, um, so communication. So what's going on in this in, with this fairy? She's talking about this is a time in your life where you might be reaching a point in a situation or a relationship where the strands that are holding this relationship together need to either be removed or reworked. Um, what is it? What's going on in, in a relationship in your life? Um, some something in your life. Should you recreate it somewhere else? Do you need to strengthen it? Whatever it is, you've reached a point in this, in this relationship where it needs to either be rewoven or, like I said, changed. So here, she's sitting up there, and she was pondering. You know, all relationships. And connections that we have require constant main maintenance like a spider you know they, they weave their web but then they get torn down you know through the wind through the rain and they re every morning they re they reweave their web did you know that about spiders they tear it down and they redo it every morning so you're constantly needing to tend your relationships you need to put your work into it you need to figure out what's going on um, so in this instance they're telling you that there might be breakdowns in communication right now um, perhaps there's someone that you haven't been speaking to for, for quite some time. Is there a relationship that you you have not tended? Is there a friendship, a love relationship, a family relationship, some kind of communication break? What's going on? Ask yourself what's going on. All it takes is a little bit of reweaving to mend relationships and connections. Um, all things can be recreated. And sometimes when things are recreated, they're actually stronger when they're redone, when they're made over. So what it's saying is, communication between you and yourself, others, is at the heart of this issue. Experiencing communication difficulties. This is interesting to me because it talks about phones being, phone lines being down or computers being messed up. And I've had all kinds of communication issues. So yes, this is a message for me. And I'm listening. Um, there could be email issues. I got locked out of my <laughs> my, my Yahoo account. I can't get in. There's, an, I, there's no reason for it. Um, I changed my password because I had to... Um, um, it was just like my brain. My brain was, was too full. My computer was too full and my hard drive was moving slowly. I wasn't able to get to Sedona to kind of relax and I had so much data in here and so much stuff from the past that was still in here that needed to be released that my hard, hard drive seized. It literally seized and it got to the point where I couldn't move and my hard drive needed to be replaced. So when they took it out, I lost everything on my computer, which is a bummer. I've All my pictures, everything is gone. So. It's kind of talking about letting things go, right? There's some things you need to let go of in order to make things work better. When I had the new hard drive put in, I had to put a new passcode in, and we were having issues at the Apple store, and we had to redo it like five times. So by the time we did it, neither one of us knew what the password was by the end, and when I went home to open up my Yahoo account, my email was seized. 
And they said, nope, sorry, now you've got to go and figure out your passcodes to get in, your secret code, right? Secret code. So my secret code, they said, what is your cousin's first name? What is your first pet? And I used the same secret code. I know what it is, and I told them, and they said no. And I said, okay, but that's, that is what it is. And they said, that's not what we have. So I have no idea what is going on. All I know is I've been locked out. I've been locked out, and it's, it's unfairly. So what's interesting is I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I may not be able to get back in. But what they're talking about, even in this relationship message, is the relationships, there could be misunderstandings. There could be um, falling out between parties and are unfair that it's not based on things that, that were untrue or that weren't even real. Like with me being locked out of my email, I didn't do anything. Those were my passwords, but they're saying that they were wrong. So there's been some kind of a block, right? So I'm, I'm showing all of this stuff. And so here, then we get this message. So clearly it's talking to me about relationships. There's something. And you know what? That, what's interesting is that bug. That insect that was flying around, shoot, it just went by again. It's a wasp. And the wasp talks about angry words, gossip, um, angry words unspoken. It talks, um, there's a lot of messages to, go, uh, to wasp. There's a lot of really good messages. And I don't remember all of those right now because we're talking about this. But there's literally talking about there's somebody that's nasty, the stinger. So what they're saying is avoid gossip. Um, be careful of... Um, because there may be somebody that's talking about you behind your back. There may be somebody that's caused problems. Um, people, um, I'm getting in my head, things have been deleted. Things um, with other people not knowing it. Things have been um, mis misaligned. Things have been said that were not, not true, which is what they're showing here in this reading, that um, there could be a possibility of misunderstandings that aren't even at the fault of the ones involved. So it's talking about, um, you're going to have to try and figure out what you can do to weave these, weave these relationships back together. So it's talking about connecting with others so that you're not isolated. Um, the need to talk through issues with yourself and others. Sharing your truth with others, you know, in a respectful way. But, you know, it's time to speak because there's been a misunderstanding. And it, clearly it shows there's been a misunderstanding on both parts. So uh, oftentimes we think, well, we know what's going on in our head, right? We know what we're feeling and what we're thinking. But we don't know what they're feeling and what they're thinking. And they may be feeling the same thing and not understanding what's going on. But there's been some kind of a miscommunication. So they're asking for you to, this is a time to share your feelings. They're saying, you know, possibly for you, maybe you're someone who's constantly sharing your feelings. Maybe you're someone who's constantly asking. So then in, in, in the next instance of this situation, maybe it's time for you to wait and allow the other person to come to you and share their feelings. Maybe it's time for them to step forward and speak and say what's going on, you know, and, 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 not, and allow yourself to receive, basically. Um, this is talking about family, this is talking about work relationships, this is talking about lovers, friends, this is talking about all relationships. There are, um, this talks about a time where there are gentle endings, um, and as I said, recreations, and when these um, things are recreated, they're showing at this time they will be stronger than they were before. Um, basically, it's, it's, it's talking about initiating change. So there's a lot of that going on. I still, at this point, don't know how I'm going to get into my, my Yahoo. Maybe I have to lose all of that. I hope not. 25 years worth of stuff and all my dreams. My dreams for four years have been written down and they're all gone um, in, that, in that email. So there must be something that's going to come. I'm going to just rela release that and allow Spirit to show me what it is. Um, clearly, they're showing me it has to do with me being locked out of something. I'm locked out in a relationship and it's beyond my control. So then the message is there's nothing I can do. Right? I've done everything that I can do. So I am the one who needs to now receive. I'm now the one who needs to sit back and, and wait for the other person to come to me and talk to me and figure out what it is that's, that's going on between us. So is that you or is that the other person? Okay, so the next message that we got, we have a lot of messages. And I got my phone fixed, so I think this is going to be holding up for a while and we're going to be having a lot of messages. So it's going to be a real cool reading. The next message we got, it's called Catch Me. Now this one's really cool. Look at this girl. She's got bare feet. She's jumping off the side of a building. There's storm clouds all around her. Her arms are out to the side. She does not have wings. Can you see that? She's looking straight ahead. She's not looking down. She is very confident. And the message is trust, surrender, leap of faith into the unknown. Okay. So. This is a time... You know, you look at a person like that that's about to jump off a building, right? And you think this person's crazy. She doesn't have a net. She doesn't have wings. She just clearly can't fly. But she's jumping off the top of this building. 
And then the and, and the and the title of the card is called Catch Me. So what's going on here is that she knows that she's gonna fly. She has absolute confidence. And I find this really intriguing because I had a dream the other night. I was with my love, um, my twin soul. Woo! <laughs> and uh what is that? Something's attached to me. That's an interesting message. Um, and he was flying and I was supposed to fly too. And so I would run along the, the ground and I would, you know, jump up and I'd back down on my feet. And I thought, Ugh, he was flying. Why can't I fly? And I, and I, so I took a, I, I took a run at it and I started to run and I, and I said to myself, I know I can do this. I know I can do this. I, I believe that I can do this. I know I can do this. And I ran and I jumped and I lifted off and I took flight and we were flying together. And, it, and I swear I've never had that feeling before. I've never had a dream. I have amazing dreams, but I've never had a dream that was this lucid where I could feel the wind beneath me. I could feel the feeling of going up in a swing in my stomach. It was clearly talking about ascending to a higher level. It was amazing. So this girl, She's going forward. She's trusting. She's moving forward. And, it's, and you know, people around her might be panicking. People around her might be thinking, what the hell is she doing? She's nuts. She's going to kill herself, right? But she has no fear. She knows that she's going to fly. She's got her arms outstretched and she's going to jump. So she's going off this building. So this comes at a time when you might be around some kind of a crisis in your life, right? You've come through a crisis and she's basically surrendering. She's surrendering to the universe. She's saying whatever it's going to be, it's going to be. She's jumping off. She is absolutely innocent and trusting. And in the fact that she's so innocent and trusting in spirit, that makes her very powerful. Because when we fully surrender and trust spirit, they support us. I have been in the scariest situations so many times on this spiritual path that I've been on. And, I, and it was done on purpose. I was shown it was going to come. I didn't understand it at the time. Otherwise, I would have been scared to death. But I got to the place where there was nothing saving me and I was completely at spirit's mercy and I surrendered to it and I was carried. And there is no other way to explain it in a logical way. There was no logical way to explain it. It was only a spiritual thing that was happening and I was shown this was going to be done so that I could see that spirit was supporting me. And this is what this girl is doing. She's jumping off. And she knows that she's going to be supported. She's fully trusting in her higher self. She's listening to her inner voice. She's fully focused on where she's going. No fear. Her belief is so is so strong, and she has such pride in 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 her higher knowledge and her connection to spirit that no matter what anybody else says to her, it's, she's not going to allow it to stop her. She's just going to move. Um, and truly what it is, it's almost like she's got nothing but faith. And it's interesting. I just had this discussion with someone this morning, and I said, you know, the only thing I can do is trust. I know what I've been shown. I trust my belief, my dreams. I know what my heart's saying. There's no other physical manifestation to what I'm being shown, but I believe it and I trust it. I'm just going to have to surrender and trust that it's coming. And I literally, this is me jumping off. You know, all of her past fear is gone. She's kind of gone. It's kind of like where I am this morning. I woke up and it's kind of like I'm, I'm past all the worry and the, and the, and the, and the doubt and the it, it's kind of like a calm place of acceptance like whatever's gonna be is gonna be I've, I've done everything I can and now it's fully in spirits hands so that's what she's saying so they're telling you that this is a courageous leap of faith that's being asked for trusting in your intuition maybe you don't have any obvious means for survival but you know it's gonna come for you I've got a friend that just lost a job and she's like, I said, you know what? It's, it, you're going to be taken care of. You will be taken care of. The only reason your job is gone is because something better is coming. You're not meant to be there. You need to trust that Spirit's taking care of you. I, I'm not talking out of my ass because I've done it myself. Um, Spirit's had me do it several times. And, and it happens to me because then I can work with people and say, you know, I know what's going on. I understand your fear. But if you absolutely trust in your higher self and spirit, you will be guided and you will be protected. That's why we're constantly hosting, you know, 333-444-222-111. There are angels everywhere around you. You are completely surrounded, guided, and protected. There is no reason for fear. 222, everything is happening exactly as it's meant to happen. With divine blessings for everyone involved, let go and have faith. 111, keep your thoughts positive. The universe has just taken a snapshot of your, of your thoughts. Are you happy with what you're thinking? Are you happy with what you're creating? If not, cancel, delete, and think of something positive because what you think about is what you bring about. On and on and on. I post these things. 333, there is an ascended master with you. Someone... And it's who you would, it could be Jesus, it could be um, whoever it is to you, Archangel Michael, um, 
Moses, Kuan Yin, wh whatever it is, Buddha, you know, but there's an ascended master that's, that's with you and it's generally the one that you work with. I work with Archangel Michael, so when I see that, or Archangel Raphael, which is the healing angel, and I've been working very closely with him lately. So when I see that, this one that's standing with me at that time, I'm saying thank you because I've been asking for Archangel Raphael's help for me and, and someone that I love, that I've been working with energetically. So these are the reasons we give you all these numbers. Um, you see me posting it constantly and people are like, why does she always post that? That's why. So what they're saying is it might be time for you to take a chance and other people in your life might be thinking you're nuts, right? They might be thinking that you're, you're doing something that's completely risky and crazy. Um, it might be that you are a person who, who does this. Maybe you're a risky kind of person. Maybe you're a very adventurous person, but maybe you're not. Maybe you're a person who's actually been very stable and, and kind of steady Eddie going along, doing what you're supposed to do, you know? And maybe you're being asked, spirit or your higher self is asking you to quit your job and start something else. Maybe you're being asked to move, you know? Maybe you're being entering into a new relationship, like completely open-heartedly, where as before you've had fear. Maybe you've had fear of relationships and now you're being told to just do this, just move forward and, you, and you're trusting in your heart and you're just going to do this without actually knowing how it's going to work out. You're, you're going forward because Spirit's telling you it's safe to. But what they're telling you is this person that's doing this has probably not examined all the consequences because sometimes we're being asked to do something without knowing how it's going to go down, how it's going to play out. We're just being asked to trust. So this is what's going to happen at this time. This person doesn't see that this is crazy. They don't see that they're doing something outrageous. They believe that they are acting in faith. They're carried by their faith. They trust in spirit. They know that spirit's going to help them and guide them. And this is the direction they're supposed to go. So they're going to do it no matter what anybody else says. And when you act out of your inner guidance, there's nothing to fear because your fears don't get realized. And what's interesting is I got to show you again. <laughs> Sorry. Look at her. She's got bare feet. She's got bare feet. She is walking into completely new territory. She is transcending the level of, of where she's been to somewhere completely new. She's completely going into an unknown adventure. I love it. <laughs> Personally, I love that. We have a swallow that's moving around us like crazy. I love that. Um, so that's that card. Oh, where's my cards? Hold on. I love it in here. I love it in here. It's so pretty. It's the perfect weather too right now. Gosh, there's so many cards. Okay, this one, fairy lovers. New love, courtship, romance, falling in love. Ooh. So number 46. Six means don't be so concerned of, on, um, don't have your mind so concerned with material um, issues, you know, financial issues, physical, it's basically things of the, of the, of the, um, of the earth and keep your thoughts more focused on spirit and, you, and your material needs and your material concerns will be taken care of. Um, that's six. Four, again, we, angels all around you, supported, guided, protected, no reason for fear. So here we have these fairy lovers. And look at them. They're adorable. They look like where I'm at. They look like they're in this little glen, right, with this tree. They're, they're, they're literally on a, the same kind of a little tree that I'm in. I love that. So it's talking about a new love, courtship, romance, falling in love. They're showing how, you know how you, be, you think when, you, when, when you're falling in love? There's nothing stronger than, 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 than new love, like falling in love. It's like it's stronger than the, the will to live. I mean, they, they show in animals and babies and, and people, love can, can bring you back from the brinks of death. It's stronger than, 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 than illness. Love is, is the strongest force. Um, so what's going on here is you see this couple, they're, they're, they're totally in love. They're all snuggly wug, right? They found each other. They're courting these ones. This is new for them. They're flirting. So what's talking about is it's talking about this is coming to you. Soon there's going to be flirting. There's going to be intoxicating foreplay. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Um, I, I say bring it on, bring it on between you and another. You're soon to be intoxicated. I love the word intoxicated because that's what it's like. It's like being drunk. Drunk on love. That's the, that's the only drug that I love is, is, is love. And they're going to know what it feels to be alive. And it's kind of like, a, a, it's kind of like drinking the elixir of love. I love that. All these expressions. So what they're saying is, this is a time for you. You're going to fall in love with somebody who, will, who is most likely another beautiful other. Someone that you find beautiful. And you're going to be falling in love with this person. And they're falling in love with you. 
You're not supposed to fear this. This is a coming together. It's going to outweigh all the fears that you've had. So remember before, maybe the, the one, the, the leap might have been that you're about to enter a relationship that maybe be in the past has frightened you. And they're saying that it's going to, what you're going to get from this relationship is going to so outweigh your fear that it's going to be worth every risk that you take. And, and this could be a new love that you're, that you're seeing, or it could be a renewal of a, of a love that's already been. A renewal, so there's a couple ways that that could be. You could be in a relationship already and you're having this resurgence of um, sacred sexual energy that's coming, or there could be a relationship that's been on a pause that's being um, reignited. And you're both gonna be feeling the response to this. And what's interesting, the fact that they're fairy lovers and they're, these are people who love being outside. These people who want, to, these are ones who wanna make love under the stars, in the forest, this is, this is the deepest rapture. This is amazing love that's coming. I can't think of anything more wonderful than that right now. Actually, I can't. So that's that message. Hold on, look how many messages we got. Ooh, I love it in here. Ooh, look at creation. Cobwebs, spider webs. What did I do with the rest of my cards? You guys, help me out here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shoot, I literally lost my cards. Are they over here? Carry me home, yes. Okay, so the next message we have is carry me home. And you see, look at this couple with their arms. Look at her. She is leaning on him. She is so in love with this guy. She's got her arms completely wrapped around him and he's supporting her, he's carrying her. I love that. Look at the full moon. I said that something magical was gonna be happening or something could happen magically on this full moon. And the message, carry me home, support, time to be carried, allow others to help. So these two, feel the loving trust between them. Look how peaceful they are. Clearly, they, they, they're, they're not concerned, they're not embarrassed. They're very, very comfortable with one another. She's actually blissful in, in this state and relaxation on her body. And look at him, look at how he's built. He's strong, how he supports her. And look how he looks down at her. I'm going to get emotional. He loves her. And he wants to carry her. There's no resentment, there's no pain, there's no nothing but wanting to give, it's a gift. So what they're saying is it's time for you to, now, to allow another to carry you for a while, to support you on your way home. You know, home is where the heart is, right? So right now you're being told it's time for you to allow yourself to be carried. You know, there's times in our lives that we're tired, even though we're happy, it'd be ha we'd be happier if somebody else would carry us, right? We've done a lot of work, we've fulfilled our commitments to ourselves, and now we get to allow others to support us. Somebody who truly wants to support us. This guy, he wants to support her. He wants to be there for her. And when you learn to really surrender, all kinds of support will come from every, from every direction. When you truly surrender, all, you know, don't fight for it. Allow it to come. This man is carrying this girl. She looks exhausted, she's tired. But this, this embrace is not just one of friendship. This is a romantic embrace. So it's, a lot, it's time for you to surrender, to allow someone to lovingly carry you and support you. Give them, they're, they're there to give you their strength, but you need to let them be the strong one now. You need to stop being the strong one and allow yourself to receive. This is a message from me for sure. Um, feel the bliss, feel the trust, right? And you're allowing yourself to be supported in this way. So when you do that, you're opening yourself up. So it's about, in, in order to allow this to happen, you need to work on your heart chakra and make sure that your heart chakra is open. You know, work, do some healing um, chakra clearing work. You can do it in the shower. I do it every day in the shower. Um, as I'm shampooing my hair, I'm cleaning my crown chakra. And as it goes down over my third eye and past my ear chakras and my throat chakra and my heart chakra, my solar plexus, sacral, you know, root, base, all the way down clearing it all out but they're asking open your heart chakras to allow this to happen true love you know it's a dance of giving and receiving and and this is the time for you to receive this is the time you've given and you've given and you've given and now it's time for you to get back and sometimes it's really hard I know it's hard for me um, it's hard for a lot of women that are we're nurturers there's a lot of men that are that way as well but sometimes it's hard for us to receive sometimes it's hard for us to receive compliments sometimes it's hard for us to allow others to carry us but for you to have this amazing love that, that, that wants to come to you you need to you need to surrender you need to I'm looking at this 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 is spent right this is spent you're exhausted you're spent you've given enough it needs to be it need that needs to go and now you need to be refreshed 
than carried by this one. So they're saying, expect someone to make your concerns their concerns. You know, allow the love of this other that's coming to you. Feel their strength and their love. Allow the support to come in. It's basically a submission to love. And the, and the following card that comes with this is, um, I hope I don't cry. I, I, I looked at these cards before um, and I started crying when I was looking at them and I thought, please don't let that happen. But this is what's coming. We've had this once before and this is the Greenman's Bride. And see, you see this fairy and she's before this, 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 this being, which is of the forest. And it, it means a lot to me personally because I am, I am absolutely of the forest and What's happening here is it's talking about sacred union, commitment ceremony. It's, it's maturing into a deep relationship. And clearly, we're talking about the Greenman's Bride, right? So what's going on here is it's talking about the wild man of the forest. This is the wild man of the forest, and he has found his beloved, his bride. This is the one that he wants to be intimate with and yet free with. They're both free spirits. These are both forest people. This is talking about a time when love has developed and grown. A time when it's come to a, um, a place of, of making a commitment from, to the, from the heart. This, is, this isn't a new love. Woo! The first one, the fairy lovers, that came first. This is not a new love. This is a love that's matured. This is a love that has grown and developed. Um, you've gone past all the giddiness. I'm going to have to put my card down. Blowing away. Um, this love, here, let's walk around. It's so beautiful out here. Let's watch the sunset. I should have come out here before. I don't know what I was thinking. So what's going on is it's time for this relationship or partnership. They've reached the stage where some kind of sacred ceremony is going to take place. You know, it's a greater, it's a greater commitment. There's a maturity and growth that have developed, like I said. Um, it talks about a, um, a ceremony of some kind. It doesn't mean that you have to get married, right? It just means a commitment. It could be a marriage, um, but it, it could also be a relationship that you've already had that, that is, like I said, coming to a deeper level, right? A deeper level of commitment but this wild man of the forest he's found his beloved and this ready this bride she's ready to become his partner you know they're gonna be wild they're, they're they are wild they're from the forest but they're ready to honor this this sacred union the sacred union is, is sacred sexual union is the highest gift that spirit can give us and this is what's coming and what they're saying is gosh I get very emotional <laughs> I get very emotional with this this is here. It's here now, the sacred sexual union. Um, I don't take this lightly. We shouldn't take it in, enter into it lightly. Look at that couple going right there. Can you see them going right past? Ah, oh, I love it. Oh, look at them going for a landing right on. So this could be a wedding, an engagement, a betrothal, uh, a be betrothal. How do you say it? Betrothal? How do you say that? I won't even say the word because I don't like it anyway. But there's some kind of a commitment ceremony, right? An extension of, uh, of this relationship it's a time when you're when you're actually going to be thinking Ooh, let's look at that way you're going to be thinking where do I want to go in this relationship what are we going to do what is it important for us at this time we're contemplating the future of this relationship and when this takes place the commitment it, it, it extends beyond them because this sacred sexual union is something this is the balancing of the masculine and feminine I talked about the um, the sun and the moon. You know, the sun is the divine masculine and the moon is the divine feminine. And it's the, it's the joining of these two together. The sacred time. Um, and it talks about it representing an exchanging of honor between these ones because they recognize that this is a sacred space. This is a sacred um, situation between the two of them. This isn't just a date. This isn't just somebody. These are partners that are deeply in love and devoted to one another. You know, they're, they're kindred spirits. These are soulmates. This is actually the card of the twin souls and the soulmates. So it's a very, very special union that's happening. And we have a lot of the twin souls that are coming together this year. And that's what's coming together. The sacred union of, of these puns. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a time where this relationship, what they have together, it's not just a sexual thing. It's not just a, um, it, it's all the elements coming together as one. We've got, um, spiritually, emotionally, physically, um, every, every, every element has come together with this couple and this is who they are. So like I said, it could be, um, there's some kind of, it could be a renewal of vows for ones who are already married, or it could be the fact that now it is, this is the time for the soulmates, the twin souls to come together. And I said, bring it on, <laughs> bring it on. I've been waiting. Um, so that's it. I'm going to leave it at that. We've had so many messages. It's crazy. Um, 
I don't really have any totems other than the wasp, which was interesting because the wasp came up when we were talking about um, that there might be somebody who's um, done some, you know, done some things that aren't so nice. Um, but it, that, but that's a, a message was about keeping things to yourself, right? Um, keep your secrets to yourself. Keep your wishes to yourself. Um, this is a time when maybe you're needing to keep quiet. There was another card that I had and I dropped it, and I'm going to just give a little bit of it because I don't have it. Don't remember the name of it. But literally, that's what it was talking about. It was talking about this might be a time when there's ones around you that are gossiping. Might be a time where people are saying things that are hurtful. Um, and I'm sorry to end on this kind of a note, but I am supposed to speak about this. That's why the wasp showed up. Um, I wasn't going to, but the, the wasp showed up for that. So what they're saying is, be, don't pay attention. Um, stay away from drama. Stay away from people who are speaking and saying negative things. Um, if people are dumping on your um, your 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 dreams and your wishes and and the things that spirit is showing you, if they're giving you negative things, they're asking you to not take it on. They're um, they are saying that this might be a time because of the miscommunication that we got earlier. That this might be a time where there are ones that are gossiping that are doing um, nefarious things causing blockages and issues and that's why it's important right at this moment to make sure that if there has been a miscommunication between you and someone else you understand why and that you know why and if you're not certain ask don't assume because at this time it's very clear that there has been a miscommunication and somebody's done something underhanded so I'm sorry to, like I said to bring that up right now but um, another thing is there with a wasp you know if it's you be careful Watch your mouth. Don't don't be gossiping. Don't get doing. Don't um, engage in gossip. If somebody starts talking about something with you. You know, stay away from drama. Um, but it's also a time that if people are 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 doing that with you, you need to swap that away. You need to watch your back. You need to be careful. You know, um, everything isn't always sunshine and happiness. You know, we had a lot of really happy, wonderful messages in our reading today. But um, I don't just give fluffy readings, right? I don't. I, I'm giving you the truth. And and I, as I said. Um, the wasp kept showing up again, and, and that was the card. So do what you can to watch your back. Um, if you do feel that there has been a miscommunication between you and someone else, or um, somebody has said something to you, double check your facts, or double, triple check your facts, and make sure that what you have been told is actually the truth, because it's not. Um, there is someone in your life that you have had a falling out with, whoever this applies to, um, somebody that you feel has hurt you and you haven't had communication, you haven't spoken to them and you need to speak to them. You need to make sure that this is clear because somebody has done something underhanded and nefarious that has led to a, a communication breakdown. Um, the person was, was spiteful, the person was nasty, that's why the stinger of the wasp, that's why they say if a wasp comes, um, be careful and swat it and don't let it sting you. Um, don't go after it by gossiping and doing things like that yourself because then you deserve to be stung yourself. So you would be the one stinging. But if somebody else is doing that out there, it's, it's about protection, self-protection. So self-protection, stay out of it. And you ones that have had fallings out with people, make sure that you know your facts. Make sure that you're not just taking um, what somebody else has told you at verbatim and you know for certain that things are the way that you have been told because we're being told that they're not. Okay, so... Um, if you'd like to follow me, I'm on Twitter, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Google+, I'm on Angels Whisper Sherry Columbus, I'm on Sherry Columbus Angels Whisper. Um, my website has got an issue along with my other. My website is called um, The Angels Whisper. The Angels Whisper? No, it's not. It's called The Whispers of Angels. You can get to it from my... Um, from my uh, the, the, vid the videos but when I go to, to do it it used to be www.thewhispersofangels.com and my domain name um, came up to re for renewal and I can't get to it because it's in my Yahoo email so if you want to get a hold of me you're gonna have to get a hold of me personally you can get a hold of me um, through my YouTube account and so if you want to um, sign up for uh, what is it you know put your name down to be notified for the videos you can what is it be a follower I don't know what it's called on on YouTube if you want to be notified so um, you can get through to me there you can get through to me on Facebook you can get through to me um, my email I'll give you my email at this point it's Sherry Columbus at yahoo.com so that's pretty simple um, what else um, I offer readings I offer life coaching I've got several people that I work with weekly um, I do dream analysis it's one of my most favorite things um, I'm a Reiki master. I've been doing a lot of Reiki healing, long distance Reiki healing. Um, it's incredibly beneficial and very, very, very powerful. That's one of my strongest gifts. Um, 
I've been doing that, so if you're interested in any of that, I'm, I'm more than happy. Now I wanted to tell you that there's a full moon coming, and it's also the winter solstice. Hasn't happened in 70 years. 70 years, 77, something like that. It's a very special time. I keep saying something magical can happen this year at this time on this full moon. So um, I'm going to make a little offering at the ferry, ferry landing here. I'm going to call this ferry landing. Ooh, that's where I'm going to say this is from, ferry landing. Um, I've got a little fairy cottage at home, like I said, my daughter made for me, and I'm going to put a little offering out there on the full moon, and um, I say, um, full moon, remember, this is the time where we release all the things that we no longer wish to carry in our lives, so write down a list of all the things that we wish no longer to carry, everything, get very detailed, um, take your list outside underneath the full moon, light it on fire, as the flames go up, the smoke goes up, it carries away all of the energy that's it's an in intention and when you act on your intention it makes it that much more powerful um, ask that it be returned to white light we don't want any of that garbage floating around in the universe and it's also a time that you would want to put out your crystals to be charged under the light of the full moon and also your healing implements whatever um, some people I don't use um, I use crystals I use the, the stones and the energy but other people have different things that they use um, it's a time for to, to be charging those as well and um, I think that's it. So you guys have a wonderful day. It's beautiful. I've like closed the lake down. Check it out. <laughs> There's like nobody here. Everybody's gone home. It feels amazing. This is the longest reading. I'm so excited that this didn't cut off. How fun is that? And we've been having to do it like what, three, four, five times? Uh, so that was one good thing that came out of it, right? The new hard drive and, and having my phone. Um, we found that there was a glitch in my phone. It was a glitch. And every time I took it to, this is another message. Every time I took it to um, the eighth, what is this? iPhone. So I took it to the Apple place and they're like, no, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to delete some pictures. You're gonna have to delete. You don't have enough storage. And I said, I don't have that much and it doesn't make sense. I meet this girl, she looks at it and she goes, that doesn't make sense. You don't have that much in there. And I said, I know. She went in somewhere and she says, you know what, we need to reset your phone. And unfortunately, that's when I lost my emails, but she reset the phone. And when it came back, she said, my phone misunderstood. Now think about that. My phone misunderstood. My phone, something went wonky. And my phone misunderstood and it thought that I had a certain amount of um, space used up when it wasn't that wasn't true and it kept shutting me off because shutting me off so when it was reset all of a sudden it comes back on and my phone's like wow you got all the space I'm talking forever remember I used to do all of these videos when I was in Sedona and I'd be walking around for hours doing videos and then all of a sudden I can only do them for 10 minutes so this is another emphasis on the fact that it was out, out of my control there was nothing I could do but there was a problem there was a misunderstanding my phone misunderstood there's a misunderstanding with my my Yahoo account they misunderstood so this is a really loud message that somebody in my life has misunderstood something that is not my fault. So I'm asking you, friends of mine, if you have an issue with me or if you're upset about something and you haven't spoken to me, please talk to me. Because I'm not aware of having a problem with anybody right now. So I'm going to let it go with that. And uh, that's it. All right. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for joining in. And this was fun. Oh, I'm excited. Peace out.